Hey guys, Andrew Henderson from Nomad Capitalist, nomadcapitalist.com, here in uh, Kiev, Ukraine. And wanted to make a little video for all the online business owners, all the e-commerce people, all the location independent business owners who are transacting business through the internet. That's where you make your money is online. Wanted to share, uh, really, I think the one big element, the uh, thing that most people don't understand about the offshore industry when it comes to using e-commerce and why everyone who's in e-commerce and doing business online should be following this one uh, idea. And it really defines, I think, what we talk about here at Nomad Capitalist. Um, so this is for everyone who has an FBA business on Amazon, who's on Shopify, digital products, membership stuff, whatever. Um, and one of the books that I've heard so many mentions of over my uh, career as an entrepreneur uh, is the 80-20 rule. People talk about focusing on the 80% uh, and eliminating that and then honing in on the remaining 20% that's bringing 80% of the value. 80% of the um, uh, revenue comes from 20% of the customers, for example. We probably all know that. Um, and that's really powerful when you apply it. Even I've gone through my business and uh, cut out a lot of moving parts, cut out a lot of unnecessary stuff that wasn't really bringing much in the door. But it's funny how when entrepreneurs go through and clean house like that, the one thing that most people forget about is taxes. And there's a really, I think, I talk so much about mindset because I think the fact that most entrepreneurs look at taxes as just something that they can't change really speaks to the power of um, believing in yourself and believing in your ability to make a change in your business. Uh, I see guys who sell stuff on Amazon, FBA, who come to me and they're, trying to lower the cost of their widget by 10 cents or by 25 cents to increase profits. Or, or people are trying to squeeze their vendors for a couple bucks. And the 80-20 rule might say, hey, don't do that. Uh, but if you're living in California, if you're living in New York, if you're living anywhere in the US, in Canada, in Australia, in the UK, in Western Europe, chances are you're paying 30, 40, 50, 60% of your income uh, in your business in taxes, depending on how it's structured. And uh, this is something that people overlook. I mean, I have so many friends in the United States who they just say, oh, uh, you know, I made a million dollars last year. That's, uh, you know, 600 grand in my pocket. It's if there's nothing they can do about it. And then when you say, well, hey, what if you what if you went and lived in, uh, you know, moved from California to, uh, to Florida? Yeah, okay, I could save like 50 grand. And then their wheels start spinning. Well, okay, if you could move to Florida, why couldn't you move to Puerto Rico? Because everyone talks about Puerto Rico. Okay, great. If you can move to Puerto Rico, why couldn't you move to Portugal or to Panama? And why couldn't you structure your business in a way? If you can hire people to do the job in the United States, why couldn't you hire similar people overseas? Or why couldn't you just move the current employees overseas? Why couldn't you structure your business? And the answer, more often than not, is, is they could. Um, I have business friends who I say, hey, you know what? Your business is struggling. Uh, why don't you move these two positions that just do stuff at a computer all day, why don't you move them to Serbia? Or why don't you move them to the Philippines and not have people in the United States who don't really care about your business working for you at an inflated wage? Yeah, I should do that. And that's what I see so much in businesses. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, I should get around to that. For me, offshore, going offshore, moving your business offshore, legally saving taxes, if you want to be like me, getting it down below 1%, legally. Legally is the key word. Um, it's about big wins. It's about applying those 80-20 principles to getting big wins. So often I use the example of people, you know, playing with a button color on their opt-in page to see if they can get an extra 3% or 5% or how can they get their AdWords spend down by 5% and increase profits because margins are tight. Forget tight margins, forget small. How do we focus on the big win of that 30, 40, 50, 60% that people are paying in taxes and eliminating that? There is a way to do it. And for everyone who is selling stuff online, who is focusing on the small issues, I encourage you, come back to the 80-20 rule. Look at the things that you think you can never change. Every time someone tells me, I can't possibly move my staff overseas, I can't possibly live overseas, I have kids, you don't understand. The reality is there are probably some huge wins sitting in your business, some big, big wins that you could turn into hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, not only now, but potentially over the next year, five years, 10 years, or maybe even the rest of your life. Focusing on big wins, to me, is what offshore is uh, is all about. Focusing on um, how to get really big improvements without really a lot of work. If you have the right help, 
it doesn't take that much work. Maybe a few lifestyle changes, but not a ton of work. And if you do it wrong, then you might be in for a problem. But um, big wins. For me, that's what offshore is all about. That's what nomad capitalist is all about. Whether it's reducing your taxes, as I did, from 43 to 1%. Uh, whether it's increasing your freedom in a monumental way with, through things like second passports. Uh, whether it's uh, by taking your investment portfolio. I just talked to one guy who was literally making 1% yield and put together a plan for how to get it up to 19 or 20% yield. Um, these are all big wins. You know, changing the button color on your lead page isn't a big win. Uh, you know, being able to keep 950000 rather than 600000 of the million dollars you made last year, that is a big win. To me, that's the beautiful thing about offshore. How do I get more big wins? If you want to find out more, uh, there's a lot more at nomadcapitalist.com. And if you're here and uh, you're digging it, click the button below on YouTube to subscribe. Got a lot more videos that explain the specifics of how to legally go offshore the way people are doing it uh, in the 21st century.